Hey, I'm Matt from MasterSketchup.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to model piping and hose using the Bezier Spline plugin and the Follow Me tool in SketchUp. So this is a model of a little utility closet in my RV. This is where all the water um, connections come in. You can see the pump here. And I modeled this because I'm installing a water filtration system. And because it's such a tight spot, I wanted to be able to physically see whether everything was going to fit in place. So if you look closely, it's a pretty rough model. You know, none of this is accurate. It's just representing a very low level detail of where everything is but a big part of this model is all of the curved hose here so what I want to do is show you exactly how I modeled all this hose using the Bezier spline plugin so let me show you real quick just a basic overview of how this works so essentially I started out with the two ends of the hose and these are in uh, com these are components these are their own components and then I created this curve um, between the two hose ends now you know, in this example, you could use the arc tool. You don't even need the Bezier spline plugin. But just to show you real quick, I just grabbed the circle tool and I created a profile of the hose that I want. And then I grabbed the follow me tool. And with the curve already selected, I can now click on the profile and it extrudes the hose um, along the path. And that's pretty much it. So what the Bezier Spline plugin does is it allows you to have um, a complex curve with multiple control points. So just to show you an example, I'm just going to create a surface there. I'm going to grab the, the first uh, Bezier Spline. You click once to start, click again to define the end point, and then you have the ability to um, define control points. So I'll click there and I'll click, I'll double click to finish. And you can see that we have this uh, nice curve here. I'm not gonna pretend to understand the mathematics on how this works, but essentially it just gives you control points to, um, to define the, the curve. And so you can use this to your advantage, not only in two dimensions like this, but when you have a, a three dimensional curve that you wanna create. Uh, for example, like right here. So we have two hose ends that are 90 degrees to each other, but this one up here is elevated about a foot higher than um, the starting one. So what I like to do is, let me just delete this here. So what I like to do is um, add guides to help me position those control points when I draw the Bezier curve. So what I'll do is jump inside of this hose end component and just with the um, the tape measure tool I can reference the center here and drag a guide out let's say six inches actually I'll go longer than that I'll go nine inches and just as a side note you'll notice that the same uh, guide repeated up here because uh, these are identical components, so whatever change I make to one of them happens to the other one. And if you don't know how to make a component, you just triple click the object, right click, and make component. So what we can do from here is now grab the Bezier spline tool, and I'll click once at the start, once at the end, and then you want to look for the the little yellow diamond to indicate which direction you need to go first. So we want to align this guide first and then I'll bring the cursor up to this one and since this is my final um, guide I'm just going to double click and that finishes the curve and you can see that it creates this nice um, gradual curve along three dimensions and then we can go ahead and draw our circle make sure the curve is selected and then grab the follow me tool click the the circle face and we have the hose now using these guides 
are really important for instances where you know the hose connector is at a strange angle because you can't really use the axis uh, reference so again since I have those guides in place it becomes really easy to um, to snap to those points that I want and then I can go ahead and extrude the um, the circle to create the hose now let's say you wanted to make a change to um, a pipe that you've already drawn so what I recommend is whenever you do extrude a pipe you want to turn it into a group just to protect it but if you needed to make a change really the best thing to do is just select the pipe and delete it and then you can right click on the curve and select edit the curve and then you can grab the um, the control points and and adjust them and then you can go ahead and re extrude the um, the pipe the way you want it now there are a ton of different types of tools here so definitely check them out and um, play around with some of the different um, different tools there so for instance if you needed to create like a straight pipe with curved um, corners you could do that as well using this tool so the way this tool works is you define an offset so I put in a three inch offset and now you just uh, select the path and it will go ahead and um, automatically create arc corners wherever there's a transition and then you can go ahead and extrude it to create this um, this kind of uh, piping there's also a tool that allows you to define the curve uh, based on intersection points so let's say you knew that the the pipe kind of passed through certain certain coordinates you know maybe it went straight for a little bit and then it went up to to this kind of this point here then dove down like this if you just create a line segment that has points at those various intersecting um, coordinates you can use this tool to place points where you know the pipe intersects and the tool will automatically create smooth curves between all of those points and then you can go ahead and extrude it here's a couple more tips for you if you wanted to know the length of the hose that you extruded you can select the hose and hide it and then select the curve that you use to extrude it and then go to the entity info window and it'll tell you the length of that curve so it's pretty accurate because it's going right to the end of the connector that you created the curve from another tip is actually another free plugin called the pipe along path plugin so this automates the process of extruding a pipe but it also gives you the ability to define an inside diameter so if I wanted to have half inch inner diameter three quarter inch outer diameter you can select some other things as well and you click OK and it automatically creates the pipe for you and places it in a group so I hope you found this video helpful if you'd like to learn more uh, tips and tricks on how to use SketchUp. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and all the links to these plugins will be in the description below so you can go ahead and download them for yourself. Thanks for watching.